Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for another video. Today we're just gonna jump into the layout. I am actually, I pulled, um, I found this in uh, my photo album. It was an incomplete uh, page of my, my son when he was four. He just turned eight. So it's been sitting in there for uh, four years now. So um, I thought that I would go ahead and um, scrap this page. Um, basically, um, it was a Cars, um, Pixar Cars when they did the, um, it was back when they first started it. So this is the first movie. And years ago, I found the, um, chipboard melody, uh, melody for, um, this movie. My son was in love with this movie. And I was looking through the pack and I have everyone except for Mater, which was his favorite. So I'm thinking I made a card with Mater on it. So I'll have to look back through all of uh, his birthday cards to see if that's what it is. Because I didn't find um, Mater in here. So anyway, um, I'm also going to be using the Simple Stories Awesome collection. Because it has... Um, uh, Route 66 and everybody knows the movie that's pretty much where they were um, on Route 66 that's where it took place and so um, yeah I decided since it has the license plates it has to do with cars um, it's going to be a really short uh, layout um, and if you guys, um, I got a question about this. I am a budget scrapper. I am a stay-at-home mom. So, um, I don't want my husband <laughs> my husband to um, say that I'm spending too much money on my hobby. So, I like to use all of my scraps. I save a bunch of them. I like to use older collections. I like to use new collections. Um and older collections because I am a budget um, scrapper so if you are a budget scrapper um, these kind of videos are geared towards you is using what you have and um, creating some fun pages so anyway um, I think this is I'm gonna start with this one the stars and I'm just I have a craft card stock under there because I'm not working with 12 by 12 pieces of paper so I'm going to make my own um, background paper with the scraps that I have and I thought this was so ironic because I was going through my stash and I'm like oh my god I know I have a boy collection and when I saw this one with the uh, Route 66 on it and the license plates I was like oh that's perfect that's perfect so I pulled all of those um, collections out of there and then I had already matted my photos um, like I said this was in his photo album just laying there and it had um, it had these little guys taped to, um, you know, I had it taped to like a, a protective sheet. So I'm going to go ahead and here's my photo. I want it to come sort of, sort of towards the bottom. And I'm covering up these words right here because um, it's not going to show the whole saying. So I didn't want that to... And then I have a piece of scrap that I had cut into a ribbon that we can use to, and I'm just going to put it um, right here. And then I have another one that I'm going to use for right here. And it doesn't cover up his face or anything. And he was so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh, I like the numbers better. So I'm going to turn one over he was so cute he doesn't look like this at all anymore he had like a such a baby face on this um photos and stuff so when I saw it I was like oh my god he was so cute and I was showing him the pictures and telling him how cute he was and he was like oh my goodness mom you know I embarrassed him a little bit I'm gonna see if I could pull this up and put it here and then I'm going to pull my photos up just a little bit. So I'm going to move, remove that one and pull my photos up just a little bit. I don't want to cover up that 66, so. 
I might cover up the um, the ribbon effect here. Okay. There we go. I'm happy with that. So it's covered up just a little bit, but not a lot. So, And then I'll cut that at the end. So it just, let me see if I can pull this one down. I'm quite sure I have these photos again on my um, hard drive or whatnot. Yeah, I'm going to end up covering up that, that ribbon. Just a little bit, bring it down. There we go. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now for embellishing. I did go ahead and print out my journaling. And I just put on there, look at you, you're four. And um, I enjoy seeing your handsome smile on this special day. So I'm going to place this one. I want instead of the motorcycle, I'm going to put Lightning McQueen there. So I'm going to give myself a little space to do that. Put him there. And I want to cover up the motorcycle all together. So I cut out a circle from this same paper right here. And I'm just going to put it back there. And to put these on, I'm going to use my quick dry adhesive. Because they are a thicker um, type of cards, I mean, I'm sorry, chipboard, my um, adhesive, it would definitely fall off in time, you know? Because they are, uh, it's really thick. And then, um, oh, is they have also in the pack these little cute uh, sayings on there. This one has the um, piston cup on it. And Sally is on here, but he's a boy and he will probably get upset if I put that on his page. Um, LaGuardo, I'll put him down here. And then I wanna keep that out, the 66. And then here's Luigi, so I'll put him by LaGuardo. Like I said, I want to keep that 66 visible, so I'll put um, LaGuardo over here. And then is another one that has mechanic on duty. So I'm going to put him, put it right here at the top. Uh, here's Mac. And I'm going to put him up here in the top as well. And then um, this one has cars on it and then gas services. I'm guessing that's for, um, it was for flows. Um, yes, I know all the names of everybody because um, I have boys and they're really big on that. Uh, my daughter, she's not so... Um, it's all princes and butterflies. And Okay, and here's another one of Lightning McQueen in like a black race car type of uh, attire. And so... Um, then we have... I'm guessing this is McQueen as well, but he's in like the Dinoco blue. So we're going to put him up here. And then I'm going to use Doc over here at the top. And then I think that's everybody. Um, I have the policeman here. What was his name? Sheriff someone. I could put him up here with Doc. But then that would make it go straight across instead of like in right now there is making a triangle because it's going like um like this so i think that's it as far as me adding um and then i think i'm gonna go ahead and put this one here 
and it has on there low and slow which has to do with Ramon he was the low rider on the show so anyway that um, pretty much completes the page I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut this here and then you know what that doesn't complete the page I need to put on here somewhere happy birthday so I'm going to look in my stash to see um, what um, letters and numbers. And I'm thinking I'm going to put birthday across here. So I'll be right back. Okay, I found like a um, congruent um, letter um, thicker. And so let's see how this one um, turns out. If I don't like it, I am going to use another one um, I'm thinking I want to put happy here and then put birthday in a different location and doc has already dried And then I'm going to put birthday. I got to bring it up just a little bit because of my journaling. And so I have gotten, um, I used to use like wax paper like um, Mercy Tiara to figure out where my letters were going to go before then. But then um, <laughs> I got a little impatient and I just like to just stick them on there and move them everywhere. So... All right, so now I'm just gonna move my I and my B up a bit. And there we go, that's our layout for today. And I'm thinking that I need to go ahead and add him up there to fill in that open space. Um, because if I don't, that's gonna kill me. So I am going to put the policeman up there And then here at the bottom right here, I am going to put the low and slow because it goes right there. So I'm going to put the low rider on there. And the only one that I didn't use was Sally. And I'll save that one for something else. So, All right, guys. So I hope you enjoy um, the layout and you guys have a great day. And I'll see you next time. Bye.